This is the main straight. Cut, 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 cut. Stop it, you. <laughs> right, a little test with this string. So this is a four six two loco, the mallard. That looks good. Let's take it for a run. So what we're going to do is film the mallard on this part of the straight. It's six foot between those two white markers and so we'll time it and then see how quickly it takes to go that distance and then multiply it by 76 because it's 176 scale double O and then we should like get the actual speed. Two point three six. So one, more, one more. Is that a tenth of a second it's gone down? Or? No, they're all within point zero four again. But yeah, it is a tenth. We'll do one more. Yep. Okay. This this is probably more accurate, getting a better view of it. Yeah, because when you're on, when oh, you're okay. over it, you can see exactly. Like, from right. here, it's distorted. There you go. Carriages. So here are the times. Over six feet, our Hornby model Mallard did the run in 2.31 seconds. And that works out to a real speed of 1.77 miles an hour, or a scale speed at 176, scale of 134.59 miles an hour. Now the Mallard's real speed was 126.1 miles an hour on a slightly downhill gradient. We also did it in 2.42 seconds, which was a common sort of time that kept repeating, and that was 1.69 miles an hour real speed, and a scale speed of 128.47, so really close to what the Mallard actually was. That was without any carriages though on our model, and when we put two carriages on it, did it in 2.58 seconds, which is 120.5 miles an hour scale speed. But that wasn't on a downhill gradient, that was on level ground. So pretty close times really.